A lot of dogs find going to the vet uncomfortable or scary. If your dog is one of those dogs and you feel that using a muzzle for safety is something that you should do, then it is something that you should train for in advance as opposed to putting the muzzle on immediately before going to the vet. If you have the dog wearing the muzzle right before they go to the vet, then it could be something called trigger stacking where you start multiplying things that are scary to make it an overwhelming experience for your dog. Step one, we're going to teach the dog how to wear the muzzle comfortably at home is not a scary experience, then you're going to have the dog wear the muzzle for safety at the vet. What we want to do is set the dog up for progressive steps. Having something on your face can be a very scary experience. So we're going to start with a bigger target and then progressively make it smaller. Ideally, I want the dog to put his nose in on his own so he doesn't feel forced. Control is very, very key for fearful animals or something that is scary. So you want to find a proper fitting muzzle to make sure that your dog is comfortable. I like these rubber muzzles. Um, I like it because the dog can still pant. I like the fact that there is holes in the bottom for delivering treats to the dog. Now I'm going to get all of the, um, the apparatus for tying the dog up to the muzzle out of the way. And I'm going to see if he's going to drop his nose in. If not, I'll lure him and switch to waiting to see if he can make it his idea. Once the dog is dropping his face on his own in the muzzle, holding it there for uh, a short duration, progressively longer durations. Oh, there we go, good boy. Next step is to actually tie the muzzle to his face. Now, if it is his idea, like he just dropped it in there on his own, um, he's going to feel more comfortable, just like anybody who has a fear. If you're afraid of heights and I'm walking you to the edge, holding you, you're gonna say, let me go. So this is why we take that extra step to make him feel like he has power and control. Now we're going to tie it to him with lots and lots of treats. Once the dog is comfortably wearing the muzzle for a short duration and then increasingly longer durations, you're ready to start adding movement. We can teach the dog to move using a technique called targeting where the dog touches your hand for a treat for a small distance to travel and then increasingly longer until he's following your hand. Teach him to target without the, the muzzle and then add the muzzle after. Muzzle training should start at home in a comfortable place where there is no stress around and then you're going to start wearing the muzzle outside where there are minimal distractions. And finally, make visits to your vet. <laughs> Good boy. Make visits to your vet where you can have the dog practice wearing the, the muzzle at the vet as well.